Welcome, my friends, to another episode of It's Vinyly Mine. Been a little while, yep. Uh, but we've got one for you today. It's kind of a mystery box, if you will. Uh, <laughs> I'm going through my collection, and I found this box. And I'm like, huh, what's in it? Now, uh, it, it, it was opened here, but I didn't take a look at what's inside it. So, uh, you know, uh, but I'm trying to figure out, I'm like, huh, which, which soundtrack is this that I bought it? You know, it's been a little while, you know, COVID and all that scramble your brain. So I decided to take a look with you to see what's in the box. So let's uh, drop the needle and find out what's in here, shall we? Now, uh, yeah, this did already separate, and uh, I wanted to stop there when I was going to uh, open this because I wanted to reveal it with you just to see which soundtrack this was. So uh, let's see uh, what's in the box, shall we? Uh, Amazon. And oh, it's a car that looks similar to Mad Max, but no, this isn't a Mad Max soundtrack. This is. <gasps> it's Commando Ninja. <laughs> That's right. Um, I purchased this because I fell in love with the movie. Now, the movie is on YouTube right now. And if you're not familiar with the movie at all, it basically is a uh, done in the vein of the old school canon and action films of the 80s. Those ridiculous kind of over the top films. It's kind of the, you know how uh, Turbo Kid was the post-apocalyptic, you know, owed uh, send up to those 80s films. Well, this is a similar in vain in that it's got uh, that style and it's really capturing very well the 80s over-the-top action films. I loved it and I loved the soundtrack that went along with it because it was so fitting for the movie and it just took you right back to my childhood of those uh, rent-to-video uh, action films. So yeah, Commando Ninja. Now, uh, Commando Ninja uh, is on YouTube right now, brought to us by Benjamin Combs. And uh, yeah, let's uh, take a look at this uh, vinyl and crack the seal on it and see what we got here. Now, uh, I love uh, the first, this poster. This poster is like the epitome of the 80s action films and so glad that they put it on uh, the vinyl record for the uh, cover for it because, um, you know, uh, let's try the bat. You know, because, uh, it, yeah, it just, it gives you that spirit. And, uh, yeah, I, I just, I, I, I dig films that do it right. And Commando Ninja definitely did it right when it was capturing the 80s action sound, uh, uh, flair, spirit, uh, the dialogue, the direction, everything, and you have to have music to go along with it to really sell the 80s uh, action feel. And that's what this soundtrack is. Now, yes, beautiful cover art here. I, I love this art. I always love it grabs you, you know, the, uh, uh, and yeah, just not a whole lot to this uh, release, but still the back more great image here from uh, the movie. I loved this car, you know, it says handsome on there. Makes sense if you watch the film. Uh, nothing really too special here, you know, track listing and as well as the credits and everyone involved in the production of this. And I, uh, it was put out in 2019, and now it's produced by Thomas uh, Capo, and uh, it actually features a band called Voltage, yep, right here, Commando Ninja Voltage, and if it's the theme song, I think it is, it's, it is perfect for the movie, the, the vein, the energy that it's in. So, uh, Lakeshore Records Commando Ninja release. Now, inside, uh, what do we got here? Uh, standard sleeve, but I think, oh, <laughs> Oh, check out this vinyl in true action hero fashion. This vinyl is fantastic. Clear vinyl with the explosive blood splatter, plus uh, the fantastic uh, Commando Ninja label on the vinyl. Uh, two different ones which is great, the back and the front, so they, they kind of fit, um, and it's in reverse, too. It, this is this is fantastic. Oh, I am so amused by this quite a bit. I did not expect this. I forgot that this was a special vinyl uh, for this soundtrack, so just the icing on the cake. While the sleeve is uh, kind of standard as far as the artwork goes, this vinyl definitely makes it worthwhile. So now, I'm going to go uh, check this out on the record player and listen to a few tracks and come back and I will let you know what I think of this soundtrack, what my favorite tracks are, as well as a few more details about uh, this soundtrack. So stay tuned.
Hey, all my friends, do you want to have a say on what vinyl records we feature here on It's Vinyl-y Mine? Then head on over to our Patreon page and join our early access tier, where you can vote on what vinyl we talk about, as well as get early access to our videos on our YouTube channel and all of our other content on our channel. So head on over to patreon.com slash specialmarkproductions and join today. Because he's Commando Ninja. Bring it to oh hi folks yes I'm back now and I uh, just got done listening to this uh, soundtrack which uh, for a fun movie and is the soundtrack just as fun oh hell yes it is the uh, spirit and the style that they were capturing in the movie visually they capture with the score it's a synth laden score uh, that just takes you right back to those uh, the music from like American Ninja series and Delta Force and uh, Missing in Action and all of those over the top 80s action films is captured wonderfully uh, in the music for this film now obviously uh, Commando Ninja by Voltage it's going to be a catchy tune for sure. You'd just be like, Commando Ninja. In fact, I'm, I'm doing that right now. It's still playing in my head. I mean, it just that get, you know, that theme song that involves the character of the film tells you the story. Uh, you just, you, you know, many people try to replicate that, but this film really captures it. I also do enjoy the ambitious John versus the Red Ninja, which is actually like a seven minute long track on this uh, vinyl and uh, the sexy sax in the pool and a way uh, of the command. Commando Ninja definitely, definitely captures that action spirit. Now, a little more information about this. This is from Lakeshore Records and Enjoy the Ride Records. Now, Enjoy the Ride Records released this and they offered two variants. The one that we have here is the uh, Bloody Massacre Splatter version, 180 gram feel, very sturdy. And uh, they only did 350 copies of those. And then there's a Fireball Swirl, which they did uh, a ver variation, which is 150 copies of that uh it's just uh, so much fun folks really if you enjoy if you enjoy that synth sound uh, that you had back then. Uh, I highly recommend if you can still find a copy of this to pick this up, especially on vinyl. This pressing is clean. All the tracks sounded crisp. The audio just popped. And yeah, it's definitely worth your time, folks. So check it out. Hope you enjoyed my ramblings of Commando Ninja. I got a lot more great stuff coming up, so stay tuned. Please check out our Patreon if you haven't already, where you get to vote on what type of vinyls we show here on It's Vinyl-y Mine. Yeah, I thank you for your support and your time. And remember, it's not yours. It's finally mine. And I'll catch you on the flip side.